Now at 10, a major update to our breaking news out of Nederland this afternoon. This evening, the search is over for the fugitive accused of shooting at bond agents as they tried to arrest him. Police Chief Gary Porter confirms 45-year-old Jason Paul Young is now in custody. Our cameras were rolling as they cuffed Young and then hauled him off in a police unit. Thanks for joining us here at 10 o'clock tonight. I'm Aaron Drawhorn. And I'm Kimberly Roosley. We're learning more about Young and his history tonight. We are live once again tonight at the Avenue Apartments on Nederland Avenue, where tons of officers were looking for Young. Our Sydney Ferguson has been covering this story all day long for us. Uh, Sydney, you heard Young talk with officers after they caught him. That's right, Aaron and Kimberly. I watched Young B walked out of an apartment in handcuffs here tonight. When talking about the shots fired at those bondsmen, Young claimed he didn't fire the gun intentionally. Nederland police searched the Avenue apartments for an armed suspect for over five hours before making an arrest. The search for 45-year-old Jason Young began after bond agents tried to arrest Young for outstanding warrants out of Como County. Nederland Police Chief Gary Porter says Young fired shots at the agents in the parking lot and then took off. A family member of a resident says he heard the initial shots. I heard a gunshot, a long pause, uh, three other gunshots. At first I thought something just fell and then the other ones ensued. Hours later, Nederland Police and the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office ultimately surrounded apartment 118 with guns drawn. They entered the apartment, arrested Young, marching him to a waiting patrol car. The resident's family member says he had seen Young around before. I just saw him working on car parts. He offered to take my trash to the trash can. Law enforcement used a drone and police dog in the arrest. They asked Young several questions on scene before taking him away. We did hear Young on scene claim he didn't fire the gun intentionally. I'm sure it won't happen again, and if so, I know that now that the police get here really fast. We learned a little more about Young's background tonight. Chief Porter says Young had five outstanding warrants out of Como County. Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, violated bond on protective order, assault and family violence, and two for bail jumping. Now, even though those bond agents were shot at, Chief Porter says they were not injured that he knows of. Reporting live in Nederland, I'm Sydney Ferguson, KFDM 6 News. Sydney, thank you.